move on to the next item, uh, which is our final resolution today. And it is a resolution proclaiming the month of October 2023 as San Luis Obispo County Intimate Partner Violence Awareness Month. And I'm going to ask Eric Doberoff from the district attorney's office to come forward and Supervisor Bruce Gibson will be reading. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, it is, um, I, was, I always have a little trouble with this one. I'd rather we didn't have to do this resolution as we do every year. I was gonna say it's my pleasure, but it's not to understand that this still exists, but it is my honor to uh, raise awareness of those who work so hard uh, in uh, combating this scourge. This is a resolution designating October 2023 as Intimate Partner Violence Awareness Month in the County of San Luis Obispo. Whereas intimate partner violence affects every American, it harms our communities, weakens the foundation of our nation, and hurts those we love most. And whereas intimate partner violence can result in physical injury, psychological trauma, and even death. The devastating consequences of intimate partner violence can cross generations and last a lifetime. And whereas children from homes experiencing intimate partner violence are physically abused or seriously neglected at a rate significantly higher than the national average and have risks of alcohol and drug abuse, becoming youthful offenders and developing cognitive and developmental difficulties. And whereas victims of intimate partner violence uh, that involves a history of strangulation are seven times more likely to be killed by their abuser. And whereas an average of 24 people per minute are victims of rape, physical violence, or stalking by an intimate partner in the United States. More than 12 million men and women over the course of a single year. Whereas Lumina <coughs> Alliance, our local emergency shelter, provided a variety of prevention and direct services to victims of intimate partner violence last year, including assisting 182 clients, providing over 3,700 nights of shelter, and responding to over 1,600 crisis calls. And whereas Intimate Partner Violence Awareness Month provides an important opportunity to learn more about intimate partner violence and to demonstrate support for the numerous organizations and individuals who provide advocacy, services, prevention, education, and assistance to victims. And whereas we recognize the survivors and victims of intimate partner violence embody incredible strength and resilience, overcome trauma and abuse, and build lives free of violence. Now therefore be it resolved and ordered that the Board of Supervisors of the County of San Luis Obispo State of California hereby designates October 2023 as San Luis Obispo County Intimate Partner Violence Awareness Month and urges all citizens to observe this month by learning how to detect and prevent intimate partner violence and to increase awareness of the tragic impacts of intimate partner violence by supporting those who are working toward its end and by participating in community awareness efforts. Good morning again, Chair, uh, members of the board, staff. Um, I'll start off by acknowledging Supervisor Gibson's sentiment around this issue. It's a bit disheartening that we make this request, but it is indeed a very important request, and we thank you for your continued support around it. Um, and then to um, also just acknowledge that I'm honored to be part of a suite of such resolutions this morning. I think as uh, stated by Ms. Trumpeter, it really does show the good work that this county does, that government employees do day to day. So thank you for your continued support of victims of intimate partner violence, also known as domestic violence, by declaring October Intimate Partner Violence Awareness Month. It is vitally important for us to understand the significance of intimate partner violence in our community and across our country. Nationally, it's estimated one in three females and one in four males have experienced some form of violence by an intimate partner. Nationally, it is estimated that one in 15 children are exposed to domestic violence or intimate partner violence, with about 90% of those children bearing witness to the violence itself. And statewide, domestic violence hotlines average 13 calls a minute over 19,000 calls a day, with domestic violence compromising about 15% of the violent crime. 
a significant issue. It's a crime that cuts a wide swath, regardless of age, socioeconomic status, sexual orientation, gender, race, or nationality. The more we acknowledge and educate our community on the reality of intimate partner violence, the more we can build support services around survivors, the more light we can shine on offenders, and the more effective we can be in preventing intimate partner violence in the first instance. Similar to sexual violence, all too often, intimate partner violence is seen as a private matter and is seldom talked about. It's uncomfortable, it's messy, it's complicated for the survivors who are often so very dependent on and care deeply for their abusers. Sadly, for some abusers and many of their victims, abuse at home is accepted as just the way it is. I'm proud of the hard work our district attorney staff uh, our district attorney staff in the area around intimate partner violence prosecution. In addition to our victim advocates and our investigators, we have four full-time prosecutors assigned to prosecuting intimate partner violence. Since we last addressed this board on October 4th of 2022, the staff at our Christopher G. Money Victim Witness Assistance Center has provided support for approximately 1,000 victims of intimate partner violence. Several of our staff members from the center are here today, including Director Jessica Yates. Shoulder to shoulder with our community partners, we continue to make strides towards breaking the cycle of intimate partner violence through empowering the survivor. Thank you each for demonstrating your continued support for crime victims by passing this important resolution, promoting public awareness of intimate partner violence here in San Luis Obispo County. We don't do this work alone. Our county is very fortunate to have many partners in this area, the sheriff's office, our local police agencies, the probation department, the health department, department of social services, and private partners like San Luis Obispo Legal Assistance Foundation. And especially our victim advocacy partners such as Lumina Alliance, who work tirelessly day and night advocating for survivors of intimate partner violence and sexual assault, I will now like to hand the presentation over to Jane Pomeroy, a dear friend and chief communication officer with Lumina Alliance. Thank you. Hi, good morning. Uh, thank you for this resolution. My name is Jane Pomeroy. I'm the chief communications officer for Lumina Alliance. Lumina Alliance's mission is to empower those impacted by sexual and intimate partner violence through innovative advocacy, healing, and prevention programs. Our agency, though we've changed names, has supported survivors for over 40 years, and we continue to serve as a bright light during dark times for those in need. We offer a 24-hour crisis and information line, case management, legal referrals, accompaniment and advocacy, three emergency shelters, transitional housing, individual and group therapy, and robust prevention programs. As previously mentioned, October is D Dating and Domestic Violence Awareness Month, or DVAM. DVAM was launched in 1987 with the goal of uniting organizations and people working to end domestic and intimate partner violence across the country. Over 30 years later, DVAM continues to be a time for collaboration, advocacy, and connection with the goal of raising awareness about the impacts of violence locally and nationwide. This year, in particular, we look to shine a light on the hidden costs of intimate partner violence in our community, as well as those groups whose survivorship often go unacknowledged. While we recognize that intimate partner violence can be experienced by anyone, certain groups, such as undocumented individuals, transgender individuals, and those living with disabilities are uniquely vulnerable. Despite this, these groups are often the least likely to have access to the services they need to heal and thrive and the violence they experience is often in the shadows. This October, we're committed to illuminating the path towards a brighter future for all survivors. In honor of DVAM, Lumina Alliance has planned several events throughout the month, including the Celebrate Community Festival and Walk for Survivors on Saturday, October 28th in the Mission Plaza here in San Luis Obispo. This family-friendly event brings together supporters throughout the county to walk in celebration of our vision to create a safe, thriving, and equitable community. Visit CelebrateCommunitySlow.org to register for this event or come visit our Slow Farmers Market booth on October 19th to learn more. 
Lumina Alliance will also be hosting two sessions of A Window Between Worlds, a transformative healing arts program facilitated by our staff. Finally, tune into KCBX this month to hear stories from local Spanish-speaking survivors about their experiences with violence and seeking help in our community. Visit luminaalliance.org slash DVAM to learn more about these events and how you can participate. Please remember, if you or anyone you know is experiencing sexual or intimate partner violence and need help, please call our Crisis and Information Line 24 hours a day at 805-545-8888 to speak to one of our confidential advocates. In closing, we are so grateful for this proclamation and the Board of Supervisors' support. On behalf of Lumina Alliance's Board of Directors, staff, and volunteers, we thank all of you for taking action this month to create a safe, thriving, and equitable community. Thank you. Open it up to the floor for any additional comments. Seeing none, we'll close public comment, bring it back to the board for additional comments. Supervisor Ortiz Leg. Yes, thank you very much. Um, really important statistics that you shared and just how much we have to continue to talk about the fact that one in four males, one in three women, the children that are exposed and the fact that we have the support of your staff as well as all of the other organizations that are helping and in particular Lumen Alliance there. Um, I really appreciate Jane, you giving the number out, um, highlighting all of the things that are coming up this month and just um, helping us keep this awareness because unfortunately as stated, um, we, we, we have too much of the stresses of life and the things that are happening, um, including that it becomes something that people just live with or something of that nature. So thank you for the awareness and, and being here today. Thank you. Okay. Supervisor Arnold? Yep, and I just want to thank the whole team. I know that um, you provide a, a, a really important service at a time that people really need support, really need support to get um, through some difficult times. So your dedication, a lot of you have been doing this for a very long time, and um, we really appreciate the service you provide. And I will add just thank you for all you do. I know it's a very difficult job under difficult circumstances, but you do it with grace and you do it with compassion and empathy. So thank you. <laughs>